Guten Morgen. We're both feeling pretty shattered this morning. I remember in some of the, I'm just getting comfy, some of the final Vlogmas videos before Christmas, I was going on about all oh, this great regime we'd figured out about going to bed early, getting like seven hours sleep. Uh, and you get up bright and early at like six or seven a.m. and you're just more productive. But since then, uh, we've been going to bed really late, as we mentioned, but last night we were up again till two o'clock. We watched half a season of The Sinner, which if you haven't watched it, you should go watch. It's a very good show, but it is very intense. It definitely made me have a restless night's sleep. Yeah, so don't watch it before you go to bed at like 2 a.m. And me and Maddie, well, I don't know, I, I felt hungover this morning. I woke up at like nine or 10 o'clock, which is just abysmal for a Tuesday. Maddie's gone out for a walk. I think I'm gonna go out for a walk as well because I did not leave the house yesterday either. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Alex, I saw you wearing that jumper yesterday and probably the day before. You need to take that off because that's disgusting. No, it is merely my patented two jumper, three layer technique for staying warm inside during the winter. The top jumper stays the same. The under layers change as you shower. Right, I'm just off to the beach now. I have my trusty five layer system activated and ready to go and my trusty apple. I came down hoping for some cool waves. This is it. That's awful. What am I supposed to film now? Terrifying. I turned around and saw this figure hulking in someone's garage around the corner. And then I realized it was Santa. Does anyone else who had braces when they were younger get, get one of those bridges behind your teeth to keep them straight? Because now, now I have that. Every time I eat an apple, I'm terrified that I'm gonna rip the whole thing out <laughs> when I break through the skin. Okay, I just got back. Maddie's filming a video. I've been banished to the shadow realm. I must work on bed. There are worse things, I suppose. Maddie was just trying to film her video about giving up alcohol and she wanted a thumbnail. I've had a bottle of wine that I've been saving for like a couple of months and we realized we don't have a corkscrew for it. So we can't do that just yet. There's plenty of hacks online, but I don't really feel like slamming the bottle of wine against the wall just to get the cork out. I think I'll just go and get a corkscrew from the shop. But what I wanted to say was my hair has been feeling really soft and silky lately. And I attribute that to doing no poo with Maddie. Well, not really, I've sort of been doing it. I know I need a haircut, but usually in the past, like every time my hair would get this length and I would like wash it every, I don't know, every other day, it would just go like floppy over my face and it'd be the most annoying thing in the world. But this time I've been doing it every two or three washes and it's much easier. Cause really your hair doesn't get that greasy. It doesn't need to be washed as often as we wash it, especially not with the shampoo that most people use. Though speaking of shampoo, I've been using this one. I never showed you. It's not a bottle of disinfectant. It's a bottle of faith in nature. Five whole liters of it. But this stuff is great. This is how bad I am. I bought it over a year ago because it was half price. And I thought, oh, that's great. That'll last me ages. And this is how much I've used in like a year just down to there. Keep it in that little glass bottle there. To be fair, for like f four or five months, we were away and I didn't have it with me, but still. It's a great shampoo though, because it doesn't make my hair all like floppy. Enough about my hair though. I'll go and ask Maddie what she thinks. Mads? What? Do you like my hair? What about it? Do you like how it's the same as always. silky and style it is what? lately, since I haven't been washing it as much? It looks the same. What she really means is it looks much better. <laughs> Look how 
dark it is today if I turn the light off. <laughs> Here we have some mysterious green goop that Maddie made. I think it's avocado and chickpea. Let's have a smell. Oh, it smells delicious. And I have a spicy olive, courtesy of my brother for Christmas. He got me a little pot of olives. I don't lie when I say that is the hottest olive I've ever had, even without the chili in it. And I've had some spicy olives. We'll definitely have to do a video where me and Maddie just uh, try and eat a whole pot of them. What have I created? Probably doesn't look the most appetizing, but it is, I promise. I'm sitting on bed while Maddie does another video. Normally I try and like, eat while I edit and it just kind of stresses me out a bit. So I've decided to just give myself a lunch break. You know, like how normal people have. I know I don't necessarily have the most difficult or stressful job in the world, but it does take up a lot of time out of my day and I think it's good to give myself a bit of time to just sit and relax a minute and clear my head. Like you would in any job, really. I think that makes sense. And I'm trying to do a new thing where I don't just watch the same series on Netflix over and over. So I'm going to watch some Julian because I like Julian. Yeah, I watched the vlog. It was a good vlog. That's the olive. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh. oh, it's still there. <laughs> it's delicious, but wow. They must marinate that in like pure chili. Attention. I'm going to get a corkscrew. Are you going to make me a cup of tea as well? Please stand by. We'll be back to open you soon, my pretty. Probably doesn't send the right message that Maddie's doing a video about giving up alcohol and I'm excited to open the bottle of wine. I fell asleep listening to Harry Potter the other night and it's taken me from the end of chapter two to the end of chapter 13. We're off to get the corkscrew, the wonderful corkscrew for wine. We if ever a whiz there was, if ever a ever a whiz there was, the Wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Let's get wrecked. Oh, I had a little bit while. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, it's because I was holding the side down. I was like, why is it so tough? I like it. It's like a little man raising his arms like, yeah. yay. Party time! Party time. <laughs> oh, yeah! Pop, 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 pop. Ah. <laughs> that was a good noise. Right, this is just for a thumbnail. Go, go, go. I'm on alcohol again, guys. I did have a um, tiny okay. little glass of Prosecco uh, on Christmas Day. You did? Meal. Yeah. And I had a sip of Prosecco on New Year's, but then I was like, ooh, I don't really want this. <laughs> Because it's so late, and I was, I was like, that was, was that champagne? Was that the good stuff? I literally had a sip, and then I was like, oh, yeah, it's weird. It's really weird when, like, you if you love if you're someone who loves wine, and then you get decide to give it up, you think, oh, you I'll always miss it, and it's really strange because I genuinely I have it now, like it doesn't taste the same. It tastes gross. It's mm. like when you're young and you don't like the taste of it. Like it tastes gross to me now. The only one that doesn't taste gross is like really fresh. Fruity, like white wine, white wine, like uh, Sauvignon Blanc, like dry, citrusy wine. I'm like, still, that tastes kind of nice. Yeah. Because I had, a, I have a sip of my mum's every now and then. Well, uh, well, uh, I say every now and then. I've had like two sips of her wine yeah. in the last like year, just to try it. So yeah, I'm gonna get a thumbnail now. I'm gonna have a sniff because this is posho wine. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> This is the end result of the thumbnail shooting. The things we do for videos, eh? You're going to down them, Alex. It's still the size of the bar. Because that's the whole bottle of wine. Oh dear. I'll have some later. Addy's editing. <laughs> I filmed two videos and I'm editing two videos and being very productive today. How much would I have to pay you to get you to eat one of the chilies from the olive pot? Pay me? Yeah. I'll eat one, I did already. Okay. Should we do it later? Should we do it later? Should we do it for the vlog? You can eat one. Why aren't you eating it? I've already done my part. I filmed... Oh, did you film yourself eating it? Oh yeah. What, the, the one olive? No, we've got to both do it. If we're doing it, we've got to do it. Uh. Do we have to eat the chilli inside? <laughs> 
Do you want to live till tomorrow? Uh, what do you mean? Do you think that's that bad? I can't remember how bad it is. You've both got to do it. It is really bad. We've both got to do it. The whole thing? <laughs> yes. Oh, can we get like, does soy milk work like cow's milk does? Yeah, like, go get stop. it. <laughs> get the sweet one. Oh, they smell. Wow. So here they are. They've got, oh, they smell like spicy. Look at it. The... Okay, ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one. I'm scared. Go for it. Mm. That was okay. Oh my god, it's right. Oh, that was alright. Why was it so much worse the other day? I think because we kept it in our mouth. Also, it builds up. Ah. I think the other day I put it in my mouth, I took a bite and then I was like, mmm, olive, and then let it sit. Okay, that was That's underwhelming. I did. I did, I filmed it before, I was like, a third of an olive, like a tiny piece of olive. It's like, mmm, this is tasty, and then suddenly it hits you. Like, as we just ate that in 10 seconds. Why was that so underwhelming? I'm sorry, guys, that was not a good challenge, was it? All right, maybe we'll do it another time where we just let it linger. Well, no. Did you ever used to do the <laughs> challenge in um, Pizza Hut? So you know on P in Pizza Hut they have the uh, chili flake shakers. That's quite, that's quite nice. <laughs> have you ever seen that in um, oh, yeah, yeah. old school Pizza Hut? When I was younger, I haven't been there since I was a kid. But they'd have the little um, thingies of chili flakes. And we used to do this challenge where you'd get one and you'd all sit there at the table and you'd put one on your tongue and you'd see who could leave it on the tongue for longest. <laughs> and it would, because if you have chili flakes, that's fine, you can put it on your food. But if you let it sit, it is so spicy, like it's crazy. Or maybe because I was young, I thought it was really spicy, but I think, yeah, sure to make that bad, you'd have to like- The saliva must react to it, something. Yeah, you must have to leave the other, because I think we must that... have left it in our mouth today. Because the other day, I was literally like hyperventilating, wasn't I? Yeah, I reckon if we let, if we ate that chili on its own and just like let it linger, because yeah. it's got seeds in it. Yeah, well that... at least now I know how to eat them, because I love olives, so I can actually eat these now. But then we can't save it. What's the point? Well, you don't necessarily, when you eat your olives, let it sit in your mouth, do you? You eat them. I suppose. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought that was going to be really yeah. fun. It's going to be brutal on the way out. Maybe we can film that. On the way out? What do you mean? You know that song, Ring of Fire? Alex! It's about the time you had a really spicy Ooh. olive. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire. Dun, 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 dun. Excited. Oh yes. Which one's mine? One closest to you. They're both exactly oh, the same. I, I think I want this one. I gave you this one because that's a bit more noodles. Oh. See. Well, gee, thanks. Are you sure you haven't just buried all your noodles under here and you're pretending? Because well, does it not look like it has more noodles? I always do that for you. If there's something that has more noodles, I always give it to you. Noodle, 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 noodle. <laughs> Time for the sinner. Do it. B, 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 scroll, A, A. Ah. What has happened in here? The popcorn everywhere. And yum, 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 Alex yum. used the bowl that I used for popcorn for the compost, so I've had to separate oh. it out. Sorry. <laughs> I will be sorry. Mmm. Oh, smells good. Eat it plain. It tastes good. I've got to add coconut oil and salt. Yeah, but I'm on a health kick. Why do you I laugh? Mean, popcorn is not on hill. Why do you laugh? I mean, oil isn't great, but it's fine. Well, no, I think it's mainly the salt that kind of makes gives me a I headache. Because I put too much in it, I was like, it always ends up going overboard. It's so hard mm. to balance how much. We haven't been to the cinema in ages. Maybe we should go. No, we're on a budget. We can create our own cinema. Fine. I think I missed Star Wars anyway, haven't I? Did you tell us we went through our budget last night? We were really smart. I don't think so. Would yeah, you like we're to like, hear all about it? we're trying to save for travel and also just be smart with money because I've been really inspired by both Sustainably Vegan and Fairly Local Vegan who have made videos on no spend and Sustainably Vegan. Um, hopefully I'm going to meet her soon. She's so nice and so lovely and um, she's doing like a no spend year and I watched her video and the Fairly Local Vegan's video and I was just like, do you know what? I do a lot of these things anyway. Like we do a lot of these things to save money. Why don't we just try it even more? Not, I'm not going to do a no spend year, but just want to get organized, budget everything, yeah. 
have a food budget and just only spend money on essentials and one of the big things I'm doing this year is I'm not buying any new clothes so only secondhand clothes because I, I don't need them and I think it's because we had like when we moved we bought more stuff than we have done in years yeah so like yeah. We, were just, we were just having to buy so much for the flat and I didn't like how it made me feel so I want to go back to mm. being Cheap. Some things though, we were able to like, when we got that table and chairs, we sold something else. Yeah, we're still thrifty it. and smart yeah. with it, but even so, I just, I like to like look at my bank balance and there not be More very much going out. going in than going out. Yes, exactly. That's, what we want, that's what's important if yeah. you want to save, is to have more coming in than you have going out and most people yeah, and i, I do it you just easy. spend what you what you earn so i want to get a good amount of savings and i want to put some money towards our student debt this year that's usually how it goes though isn't it what if more goes in than comes out that's one of the main things to saving money i can't tell if you mean sarcastic shut up what do you mean it's not it's something that i know i know it's just a really like out. hidden hack to saving money it's not a hidden hack it's just spend less than you earn I mean, it sounds simple, but that's all it is. Yeah. How many episodes of The Sinner are we going to watch tonight? One. Four. Got to finish the season. I reckon we can breeze through a few episodes while this guy's exporting and uploading. What do you say? What say you? 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 I'm feeling very inspired because I'm sure some of you have seen it, but there's like an article, not an article, a Facebook post popping around everywhere of a woman called Holly. Yeah, letter from a 27 year old who is dying of cancer will change your approach to life and I'll link it below because it's very inspiring and I was just saying to Alex, I am, basically she just talks about the things that she's learnt um, just considering her life when she was, you know, dying and how it just made her think. I'm happy that a lot of the things on there I'm already doing, like not caring about material possessions and not you know trying to focus spending my money on travel and experiences and just kind of pursuing your dream and doing what makes you happy but some of the things that just like really stuck out to me that i still do to this day and that's something i really like one of my biggest personal goals for this year <clears throat> is to number one get more in touch with spirituality and just kind of understanding myself and self-love and also not sweating the small stuff. I'm a huge warrior and I can be a bit of a drama queen sometimes when little things go wrong and um, it's just pointless. If something insignificant is happening, it's important to be grateful and realize actually what's happening right now is so insignificant and small and it's not worth me wasting another moment worrying about it. And um, it's advice my mum always gives me and I'm sure lots of mums give their daughters and sons. And that's, if something goes wrong, like, okay something's gone wrong it's annoying but move on and don't let it get you down just like, like get over it and I sometimes I do it a lot where I just kind of allow myself to wallow in it and I'm like oh this is so annoying poor me poor me and it's just pointless so yeah I will leave it down below because it's incredibly inspiring and I understand why everyone's sharing it how many shares 90 like 6,000 or something those times you're whinging about ridiculous things, something I've noticed so much these past few months, just think about someone who is really facing a problem. Be grateful for your minor issue and get over it. It's okay to acknowledge that something is annoying, but try not to carry on about it and negatively affect other people's days. That's a huge lesson for me and all of us, I think. Um, just not complaining or whinging and like getting wound up about small things. I want that to be just a thing of the past and something I don't do. Reacting calmly and not getting over the top about things that really don't matter because I have such a privileged life and I'm so unbelievably lucky and I'm so happy as well. Like we have so much to be happy for. Mm. Like just having like a roof over our heads, having each other, having our friends, having our family, doing the job that I love, helping other people out, making other people happy. Like it just warms my heart. And like today I spent like some time sitting by the sea and I just sat there just thinking oh my gosh I'm so lucky to just be sat here like enjoying this and being so close to the sea there's so much to be happy for is what I'm trying to say sorry for the emotional chat but I think I think it's something that um it's important to remember and I try to remember it often because I think at the end of last year we were both feeling it weren't we a little bit with stress sometimes oh yeah yeah. And it was like a mixture of feeling so happy <clears throat> to move in together and for all these exciting things and moving forward. But then the stress of all of like the pressures of moving in together and the, all that type of thing, like life things. Um, 
I let it get to me too much, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Alex has been out of focus this whole time. I'm not a bit out of focus, I've been in the background. But you were out of focus in the background. Okay. And I love doing my digital detox because one of the things she mentions here is valuing other people's time and not going on your phone and like paying attention to them. And that's something I definitely learned over Christmas and I'm gonna do regularly whenever I'm with my friends, whenever I'm at dinner, whenever I'm up like doing that type of thing, my phone is not going to be on the table, it's not going to be in my hand, I'm not going to be looking at it, it's just, you know, unless you're relaxing and chilling out. If you're going to dinner with someone and doing something with them, yeah. your phone should not be out. You need to work on that. I do. But the past few days I've been good. I've just kind of been um, trying to leave it out of the room yeah. when I'm doing stuff. Instead of picking it up every 10 minutes. I'm inspired <laughs> to make some minimalism videos now after that and some just kind of um, life advice videos like how to sort of enjoy your life and be grateful and happy and stuff because I think minimalism is probably the biggest thing that has changed that outlook yeah. for me. Because minimalism and just kind of, it kind of opens your eyes to being more spiritual, more understanding of like what is important over what isn't important. And I think actually a part of the reason I was feeling stressed before Christmas sometimes was because of the amount of stuff we were having to buy and things we were having to do and complications. And it's just like, not things I want to focus my life doing. Uh, focus on doing my life, mm. whatever. Um, focus your life do <laughs> I want to, like this year, as I said earlier, did I say that earlier? I just want to not spend yeah, any money on things. I have no interest <clears throat> in it. It doesn't bring me happiness. Well, when we sat down and we couldn't think of. Yeah, it was interesting. We were like, what, what do we, apart from like bills and things, what are we going to need to spend each month? And we were like, uh, food. Can't think of anything else. And like, then we were like, we're not going to buy clothes. We're not going to buy games. We're not going to no. buy, I don't know, DVDs. No one buys DVDs no. anymore. But. And we were like, oh, travel. But then we barely use the car and we mm. use our bikes. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, maybe some equipment. Like, I want to invest in a camera, and that's it. So I had it's a dream, interesting. A dream last night that you bought a wide-angle lens for your SLR, oh. and it was wonderful. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll wrap it up there because that's a lot of chat. Comment down below what you're grateful for and what makes you happy, and let's spread the positivity because that is important. If anyone, if any one of you is feeling sad or whatever, then appreciating mm. what you have is so important, and recognize what you're happy for and what, what's good in your life. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.